Our bosses said they'd be in hog heaven if we just get converted to CCS7. <laughs> Have you heard the story of the Auerbach conversion? It could take a long time, but here's the short version. A difficult job, it had never been done, and it had to come together before May 1. Ah. Well, at first we were shocked, and then we were scared, but we knew it had to happen, so we had to be prepared. Well, we needed some standards that were going to win the race, so we drew up some procedures, and we set them in place. Our learning curve took a hairpin turn. Every circuit converted was a lesson to learn. We planned all day, then we tested all night. The key word here was expedite. You know AT&T didn't want it to happen, but the FCC said you gotta get snappin'. Some Arbox balked, but you know we asserted we were bound and determined to get them all converted. <laughs> The beginning of it was in the beginning of 91. 91. At the beginning, we didn't know what we were doing. Because it was kind of, here you go, get it done. A project of this magnitude had never been taken on by people in our position before. There were some doubts as to whether we were going to make it or not. We had to basically rebuild the network in the shortest time frame as possible. <laughs> We'd go in and get an expedited time frame and have them expedite the expedited time frame. Expedite fever, I think, is more like it. And I processed 20. 20,000 circuits in one month. I used to have a full head of hair before this thing started. <laughs> Didn't need these. <laughs> Well, here's the problem, said the FCC. Y'all gotta reduce your PDD, but it takes a long time to work out the kinks with millions of circuits and thousands of links. It was readily apparent it's really tough math when you have four links and only three paths are designed for each link and four links to every ladder. Any way you cut it, it's a whole lot of data. It's a stressful job getting trunk groups converted, and all of us were already overexerted. Before we could give any switches a go, we had to get the OK from the FBO. The way things were looking, it was do or die, so we taught ourselves how to try versify, and we had to be sharp because we couldn't miss a trick when dealing with Elect trying to match a T kick. Mel, to the board. Unacceptable. And then sometime in 92, we begin uh, aggressively converting circuits. It was a massive amount of circuits. And after that, it was getting links installed. So after they got all the links turned up, then we started doing some testing. There's been many nights I've gone home and dreamt about finding two six codes. We all felt the pressure. There were some moments there. Ah! <laughs> I don't have horror stories for you. It was mass confusion. Most interesting experience. Exciting. The word that I like to use is challenge. Damn! Triple their workload for a few months. I think one day I wrote 26 sets of orders. Wow. It's been a project that would never stop. Hi, Ma, I made through it. <laughs> All those circuits we've been overhauling, sure, oh. took a lot of conference calling, and just when we thought we'd get a little peace, we had to go out and negotiate a lease. Leases are not approved. Way back when it started, nobody had a clue about all the hoops we'd be jumping through. It was a bear of a job, but we never lost steam, because all across the country we were working as a team. But even though we came together as one, you gotta keep in mind that the job's never done. It's like thinking you've come to the end of the road and realizing there's still point codes to lose. Well, this story is true, we're here to say, much to AT&T's dismay, and our bosses, why they're in hog heaven, because we're getting it all converted to C, C, S7. I'd like to say thanks to my team. Thanks for all your hard work. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for the great job on this project. Thanks for all your hard work, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to all the members of the CCS 17. This was certainly a great team effort. We just all pulled together and got the job done. And you had to work together. I mean, there's just no choice. The coordination groups were great. All the operations people across the region, all the second level people. JC Walker and his crew down and switching up routing. Chris Bryson, Dan Walls. Wendell McAdoo. Mark Klimp. David Autumn. Jamie Young. Mohan Raj. Dick Barnes. There's so many of them. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. You did it by learning, planning, and working together. You made MCI history. And I want you to know we appreciate it. Live long and interconnect.
Ríos. Seis. Seis. Es. Seven. Eight. I'm in hog heaven. <laughs>